everyone meet Marshall. He's okay. <laughs> hey guys, welcome to my channel. I hope you're having a fantastic day. If you're new here, my name's Katerina and I'm an English teacher from Canada. You may have noticed that I have a furry little friend here with me. His name is Marshall. He's my new kitten. He's about three and a half months old and he keeps me very busy. <laughs> it's been a rainy day here in the city. I like to use these kinds of days to do chores and to run errands. So let's talk about these. Chores are things you need to do around the house. It can be like washing dishes, vacuuming, mopping the floors, cooking, whatever are these useful, productive things you need to do around your house, those are called chores. Errands, on the other hand, are also, you know, useful things you need to do, but they are outside of your home. So it can be like going to the grocery store to buy food, going to the bank, going to the library, whatever it is that's important that you need to get done, it can be called an errand. Usually the verb we use with it is run, to run an errand. I've done a lot of chores around the house today already and now I'm going to run a couple of errands. I'm going to go to the pet shop and bring you guys along. So today I've got an English lesson for you all about the pet shop. To get to the pet store, I am taking public transit. Today, I am taking the bus. It's raining cats and dogs. Not really. Cats and dogs are not falling from the sky. This is an expression. It's raining heavily. I have arrived at the pet shop. Let's go inside. Enter the pet shop through automatic doors. Vestibule. In the vestibule, you will find shopping carts and baskets. This is the small room between the outside doors and the rest of the store. A long main passageway runs down the center of the store. From the passageway, you can turn and walk down the aisles. The aisles are numbered and labeled to help you find the right products. I am walking down the aisles with my shopping cart. I am browsing the different products that are available. Browsing, I'm just looking. I want to purchase some cat food for my kitten. There are many different products to choose from. Usually, food for cats and dogs comes in two varieties, dry food or wet food. Dry food can also be called kibble. Wet food can be called canned food because it comes in a can. Here, I picked up some kibble for my kitten. Next, I'm looking for some treats. Treats are foods that taste very good but are not eaten often. My favorite treat is ice cream, but Marshall really likes these crunchy chicken treats. I have finished my shopping and I have come to the checkout. The checkout is the area where you can pay for your purchases. I wait in line to pay for my products. Who works at the pet shop? Manager. The manager takes care of the general operations of the store. This can include staffing, finances, and inventory. Groomer. 
the groomer takes care of the animals. This includes cleaning, washing, cutting or trimming the nails or the fur. A smaller store may have a sales associate performing different tasks. They provide customer service and help to check out the customers when they're ready to pay. They can help to tidy the store and put products back on the shelves when it's not busy. A larger store may separate some of these roles. The cashier will provide customer service and will help customers to check out their orders. And a stock clerk will put the products back on the shelves and displays. They will help to maintain cleanliness at the store. What can you buy at the pet shop? Some different products include toys for your pets to play with, beds for sleeping and resting, and clothes, bowls and dishes for your pet to eat from, shampoo to clean your pet, products designed specifically for cats, include litter and litter boxes. Cats love to be brushed with a brush and they love scratchers for their nails. Some products made for dogs include collars and leashes to take your dog for a walk. A carrier will help to transport your dog and doggy bags are useful for when you go for a walk. Products for fish include aquariums and filters to keep the aquariums clean. Decorate the aquariums with plants and give your fish special fish food to eat. Some other services at the pet shop. Many pet shops provide grooming services. Grooming is taking care of your pet's appearance. This can include shampooing, cutting the hair or the fur of your pet, and trimming their nails. Some pet shops provide pet sitting. They will provide care for your pet while you are away. Sometimes this is called a pet hotel. Pet shops can also provide adoption services. When you adopt a pet, you take responsibility for a pet of a previous owner. People can't keep their pet for many different reasons, and this helps to give the pet a new life. Now, I'm on my way home with my purchases from the pet shop. I know Marshall will be very happy to see me. Now Marshall is being a good boy. He had his treat. <laughs> so what I bought today, I got his favorite food. This is a uh, crunchy food. I got some cans of his soft food. And I also got him some treats, both crunchy and soft. So these are like crunchy chicken treats and these are soft chicken treats. Um, I don't give them to him very often. He usually eats his kibble, which is what I call the dry crunchy food. But uh, usually for dinner, I will give him this delicious pate. He loves it. I hope you enjoyed this lesson at the pet shop. Please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more English lessons. Thank you so much for watching. Right here, silly goose. Come here. Marshall, it's right here.